What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, this is 4K Motoring, and today we're going to talk about the Cardo Packtalk Edge and more specifically my third replacement Packtalk Edge that I've received. I want to tell you the problems I've had. I want to hear from you guys to see if you guys have had similar issues. Let's get into it. So far I've had this Packtalk Edge, or at least had a Packtalk Edge, for the better part of around a year and a half. If you guys have seen my previous video, I came to this from a Packtalk Bold JBL that I had for a couple years. And overall, the Bold was a pretty successful unit for me. I started with an Interphone F5, moved to a Cena 20S, and then switched, because most of my friends had it and it was a slight upgrade in audio, I switched to the Packtalk Bold. It was my first mesh experience, and I had my first introduction to what I'd really considered to be a very modern helmet communicator system. Well, I love that Bold, and it worked really well. Took a trip down to Texas with it, had great battery life, great mesh communication. Overall, had a lot of success with it, but in pairing, especially pairing new groups, it sometimes was very finicky. You had to turn it off, turn it back on, sometimes reset it. It wasn't as smooth as it should have been to do some of the basic features that it was capable of doing. Enter the Packtalk Edge. This thing has been a huge improvement as far as the internal specs for this thing, running roughly the same features as the Packtalk Bowl did, but doing them all so much better. The way it was explained to me is because of the age difference between the Packtalk Bowl and the Edge coming out, the R&D time, it's like using one of the first generation Androids or iPhones and jumping right into the sixth or seventh generation. Yes, they both make phone calls, but man, the efficiency and capabilities of both have really changed a lot. So this thing is a whole lot better. Group pairing has become so much easier. That is one of my absolute biggest takeaways from this unit as opposed to the Packtalk Bold. When pairing with a new group or changing the group pairing, this thing is seamless. It does it so quickly. There's no resetting, no muss, no fuss. It just works. I've had a lot of people tell me that it works really well with pairing Bluetooth to non-Cardo units as well. I've not tested that myself, but apparently everything it does with communications, all its algorithms, its antennas, its processing, so much better. And really, I have no complaints about that. The magnetic mounting system that it has is pretty cool. It's kind of gimmicky. I don't really think it's necessary. The little clip that was in the Packtalk Bold worked fine. I didn't think we needed to reinvent that, but it's cool nonetheless. And the overall form and function seems to work fine. Obviously, I put a skin on mine just so it matches the bike and the helmet just a little bit better but it's been pretty good. USB-C charging, they advertise it's supposed to support fast charging, 30 watt fast charging, and 15 or 20 minutes of USB-C fast charging is supposed to get you two hours of talk time on this thing, and that's where my complaints start to come in. So almost exactly a year ago, I got my first Packtalk Edge unit, and within a few months, I took a trip down to Texas for the MotoGP race. Some of you guys are aware of that, the people that have been following this channel. But I ride with a group of people and we take the bikes down and it's a multi-day trip, about 4,000 mile round trip, do some riding around there. And that's where we started to notice our problems. So what I noticed is that the battery life in this thing, although the first couple of weeks it started off being great, it advertises 10 to 12 hours, I think, of overall on time. And that's without the quick topping off charging. I've not been getting that. The first two weeks are good, but then it takes a very sudden dive and the internal battery seems to have some dead cells or have some issues where it just won't hold a charge anymore. After about 20 minutes of riding, I'm getting going from 100% down to 50% and then within an hour, I'm getting low battery warnings play through the system. And whether that's just its internal metering telling me that it's off or that's the actual battery failing, I'm not quite sure, but something wasn't right with it. Fast forward to a couple months after I got this thing initially, rode down to Texas and noticed I had to keep every gas station stop, keep charging it because it kept getting me low battery warnings during the trip. And that was a really, really worrying. It never did die on me, so I'll give it credit. It never actually died, but the low battery warnings were constant the whole time. And I had to have this thing connected to a charger every time we stopped for gas in hopes that I would have helmet communications throughout the trip. Ended up getting a warranty replacement. The Cardo support has been great. I have no issues with Cardo support. They've been awesome. Got my first warranty replacement, worked great for a couple weeks, and then same thing. We started having this downhill trend to the point where it wouldn't even last two hours. It would give me within 
30, 45 minutes, it would start giving me low battery warnings from a full battery, from a complete topped off charge, low battery warnings. And then within about two hours, it would be dead. It was very unpredictable and it really seemed like a bad sell. If you guys don't know, these Cardo Edge units are actually manufactured in Ukraine. I believe that's where the batteries are from. You guys may or may not be aware of there's some stuff happening in Ukraine right now that may be a little bit distracting to a good quality control process, but I've noticed now my second unit had these same issues. I found this really disturbing and ended up having to go through Carter support just recently and I just received my now third unit, my second replacement, but my third total edge unit. Looks great, brand new unit. I'm really hoping this time that I have better battery life out of it. One thing I've read that I didn't really see in the packaging or see made a big deal of is the recommendation that it get charged completely before you turn it on the first time. So before you even turn it on to pair it or update it, charge it up fully. That should get the battery to 100% and let the unit know what a full battery is. Maybe, I don't know if that would change anything. I did try that on this time, so we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted long term how this thing goes. Like I said, I really do like this system. I really love it. The Edge seems like a great unit. It's easy to switch over from helmet to helmet. I've got two mounts, one for my old helmet, one for my new one. Just in case I switch helmets, I can just easily swap this off to my new unit. I ride with mostly people in the Cardo groups that use either Pack Talk Bolds or the new Edges and really have no issues with any of those communicating. They seem to work pretty well. I have one minor complaint and that's that the app support is really functional, really great when the Cardo unit is connected directly to your phone but on new, more modern adventure bikes, such as the Ducati here, my phone is connected to the bike and my helmet's connected to the bike and the bike is the middleman. And when I do that, the app doesn't work. I can't control the same volumes. I can't get the same features working on the app the same way. And it does bother me a little bit. It is a little cumbersome to get that whole pass-through thing to work with all the features. But overall, it's been a pretty seamless experience and I do enjoy it. As I said, I'll keep you guys updated on just how well this third unit lasts. Hopefully with charging it the right way and really paying attention to how long it's lasting, I'll do some very early on testing and kind of every month I'll be doing some testing just to keep an eye on it to see if there's any marked degradation from it or if we have a good one. The other Cardo unit we have, it was originally a dual pack. The second unit we had seems to be working fine still. It's the original unit, it's a little over a year old now, and it's had no problems. It still holds the charge fine, but it doesn't get used nearly as much as this one. So I don't know if it's a usage thing, I don't know if it's a bad cell thing, a total charging cycle, I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping we're not gonna repeat the same issue. Again, let me know if you guys had issues with your Cardo units, your Pac-Tac Edge specifically with this new battery. Let me know if you have any other issues with the communicator you're using. I know we're starting to get into what should be the next phase of communicators coming out soon. Let me know if you guys are using something new and modern that you really enjoy. I'd love to hear what you guys are all out there riding with. And even more interesting, I'd love to hear if you guys have connected something like the Cena and the Cardo together and done it pretty efficiently and really enjoyed that setup as well. If you like the Ducati content, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any experience with these Cardo Edge units or have any particular problems with yours, let me know in the comments below. With that, we'll see you next time. Yeah.